Hey Hilti fans, it's Ben with your Hilti social media team and today I'm here with Annika, our business unit manager for measuring systems. We're going to talk to you a little bit about our lasers and the robustness of them. So Annika, what makes our tools so robust? Okay, Ben, well we specify our rotator for a five foot tripod drop essentially. So it has to survive that, which is our customer's number one requirement today. So really we have three sets of levels of protection. The first one you see visibly, which are the handles and the head. So they're made of very soft buffering material. So you can tell we cut a handle in half that you can really uh, bend that. And that takes the first energy out of the impact initially and tries to protect the tool on the inside so no energy comes in. The second piece is you see this green material on the inside of uh, the core. So you don't see that from the outside, but this is what the inside of the tool actually looks like. So the green material is what absorbs the additional energy that does travel into the tool. And I'm going to show you the difference of what green does for you versus what you see in the market today. So this yellow material is very commonly used as buffering material in the market. It does not really do a whole lot. And this is the green material, takes immediate impact of the energy that comes in and absorbs it. The last piece that protects the tool, which is the core, is there's a bubble level built into the blue resin here, and that takes care of the accuracy of the product. That's the most important piece. So we're protecting that with this blue epoxy resin, which essentially acts like a rock and really doesn't take any energy towards that bubble level. Very cool. It looks also like our receiver and remote is pretty robust yes, too. Yes, exactly. So we've done the same thing on the receiver because this item actually drops even more because it's attached to a leveling staff. And so we have built this protective housing around the receiver. So if you drop this, it also can take the impact and doesn't break. Very cool. And so I also noticed we have our 12 volt battery on here. So mm -hmm. we're running all of our rotators yep. on 12 volt. Yes, absolutely. So all of our rotating lasers now operated on the 12 volt battery platform. So we're really trying to reduce the amount of batteries and chargers required on the job site and just simplify it for the customer. Excellent. So Hilti fans, if you have any comments or questions, just leave them below. And thanks for watching.